Seagull 1 to base. I think we found him. Roger that. They're trying to hide behind another leopard catamaran, it appears. Switching to thermal synthetic Doppler microwave vision. They seem to be wearing some sort of camouflage. I'm like that kid that gets their new thing for school three weeks before school and they can't not wear their new clothes. You look That's like me. a superhero is what you look like. I feel like one. Da, 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 Dress for da, da, da. success. I'm so glad we have somebody with some real talent and skill on this boat. If you said, Nick, can you make us a new screen for our salon door? I'd say, let me get my duct tape out. <laughs> our old screen is crap. The old one wouldn't even close on its own. I'm making a new, really high quality one. I bet you could do it, Nick, if you had to. You're doing it with such style <laughs> and panache. Yeah, those look good, turn around. You want some of this? You, you want some of this beef? Sure. Where's my guitar? I need my guitar. <laughs> David Lee Roth has got nothing on me. What's happening? Ah, I'm getting a guitar. This is a long time coming. There it is. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> The fact that I'm missing some fingers and all of that doesn't matter. But I always tell people, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, thanks, man. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Good morning. Today is the first day of our first leg heading south on our next season. So we're getting a last wash down. Where's your uh, power washer? <laughs> I don't want to uh, wake up the neighborhood <laughs> with my 1600 PSI. Deck's a little dirty again. It's the Jets. Here goes Southwest Flight 105 going by. Uh, it's the Jets. They rain down the bush. And some leaves. Fall is here. It's really pretty. But I think it's going to get a little bit colder here really soon. I think next week the high I saw is like 59. And we're getting ready to do an overnight down to Virginia. So it should be light winds, nice downwind sail. That's a good transition from not having been at sea for a while. So ease into it before our Cape Hatteras. It's sad to say goodbye to Terry and Peggy. They have been just such wonderful hosts and become friends. And so they welcomed us back anytime. I'm sure we'll be back to Annapolis and we'll come see them again. One of the best parts of this whole deal for us is meeting you and learning from you. So many specialties and interests and specializations. Terry and I had a fascinating conversation about computer networking and Wi-Fi. I didn't really know where to put it in this video, so in the description you'll find a link to the O'Kelly Tech Channel if you want to learn more about why your connection to the internet might be pretty darn slow. Okay, you're clear. go seven knots and ten knots of breeze not too bad wow it feels so good it's kind of warm and I'm just ready this is leg one of the next season Annapolis it's been real but it's time to go someplace warmer just drinking some herbal tea this is a cinnamon apple celebration tea and this is from Eden Zephyr. These are some patrons of ours, Ron and Melinda. And I'm excited to try the cinnamon apple celebration tea. It definitely puts me in the fall mood. Ooh, it smells like Christmas. <laughs> ah, so far. I like it. I like yeah. it a lot. Cool. And I've made a cozy little bed here. 
and while we're changing watch schedules, we'll just sleep right here in the salon and it's nice and convenient and super cozy. Not a lot of wind, maybe seven, eight knots over the water and we got the Code Zero up. It's perfect Code Zero weather. I always say the more sails aboard, the better. Seaboats going a little faster than us, but they're motoring. It's a nice raft. Yeah, what is that? What is that boat? FP or? Good? We're doing 7 1 in 7.7 .7 knots of breeze. Conditions when they're perfect for the Code Zero. It's just some of the finest, most memorable sailing you're ever going to do. How are you doing up there? Good. Gorgeous. Well, pretty mellow. We had did some sailing through half the day, but then fired up the motors. The uh, port engine. We're getting some vibrations from. I think it's the propeller again. How many times do we have to go through this? So we'll be heading to Zimmerman Marine and uh, we'll be getting in the water to see what's going on. Get ready for a quiet night. Uh, should get there in the early morning hours. I don't mind at all working on the boat. What I do really get annoyed with are problems that I think I've solved but I return to again and again. And that's been the case with our vibrating propellers. I removed and rebuilt one of the props in the Bahamas. Then just three months later, I was back in much murkier waters to remove both propellers in Fort Lauderdale and rebuild them at the dock using the supplied rebuild kits. We sailed about 800 miles up the coast and you could say I was a little unhappy when we started those engines and the vibration returned. Yeah, so uh, our H5 auto props have got a loose blade on each side, once again. This time, the props went to the professionals. They were completely torn down and rebuilt component by component to factory specs. They were polished, balanced, and against my better judgment, they were painted. More on that coming up. So Nick just grabbed a bean bag, said to me, you're in charge, and went up on the bow. And soon after, I went up to check him out. He is passed out. It has been such a whirlwind stretch with the boat show, getting stuff done on the boat, editing. Wow. Um, yeah, it's really been exhausting. He hasn't gotten a ton of sleep, so I'm really happy that heading into this all-nighter, um, he's getting some good rest. Because usually when the sun goes down, I get really tired, and that's when I like to go to sleep. <laughs> it feels really good to be back on the water, and I realize uh, how much I love to just gaze out at the sea, sort of stare off into infinity, and how. That's what I've really missed. I haven't um, had the big open wide spaces and time to just sort of look out, see birds flying, see the clouds changing, see the sky and the water. Feeling so lucky and so just uh, in awe that we just have this opportunity to share this lifestyle with so many people. Chilly, making our final approach to Matthews. And uh, I don't know that I've pulled up a mooring in the middle of the night before. Have we done it at night before? I feel like we have. I forgot. Oh, it's never quiet here. Back in Mob Jack Bay, in the South Chesapeake. Got a couple more tasks to take care of, a few more packages to pick up, and then we should be ready to get the heck out of Dodge. 
But for now, it's uh, I think four in the morning. I'm ready for a nap. Good news, bad news. Uh, good news is the, the vibration, the wobbling that we're feeling in the uh, sail drive, it's, it's from barnacles. There's barnacles all over the prop. The bad news is that the Black Widow paint that we applied or that uh, was applied to the props before we put, put them on, it's doing absolutely nothing to control the barnacles. They're just, they're all over the prop. So. Anyway, good news, bad news, at least we're not shopping for new props right now. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> good job. You ready for a hot shower? <laughs> it's too cold. This Black Widow prop paint is probably the most epic fail I have ever seen with an anti-fouling treatment. In fact, this is the worst barnacle growth we've seen on Clarity in our five years of ownership. The boat's only been in the water for about seven weeks. This is actually the first time we've ever painted our props and probably the last. I have never been a fan of painting props and it's for a few reasons. First of all, where we cruise, we're in the water all the time. So I'm constantly getting the little barnacles off and checking things over right up close. Now the other reason I don't like to paint props is debatably maybe a little irrational. Some of you might know I'm a private pilot and one of the things you come to understand about light aircraft is just how sensitive they can be to vibration. Here I am throttling up for a short field takeoff and you can see how much the fuselage vibrates because of that big prop spinning out front. Airplane props are usually anodized, and when they are painted, they're painted in really controlled circumstances with very durable paint. Any little scratch, ding, or divot in an airplane propeller could cause a big problem. Now I realize that the stakes aren't quite the same between an airplane prop and a propeller on a boat. It's not like you're gonna fall out of the sky if you're on a boat and you get a chip in your prop paint. But for me, prop paint on a boat has always seemed like an extra hassle. But I recognize that I could be in the minority on this. A lot of folks do paint their props religiously and folks with a lot of experience. David and Amy Alton, you might know these guys, They've circumnavigated, so they may know a thing or two, and they paint their props with a product called Prop Speed. These are their flexifolds, and they seem to stay pretty clean. So perhaps the jury's just out for us. We need to strip our props again and put something a little tougher on. All right, it was a nice long sleep this morning. <laughs> we slept from 4.30 to 9.00. So now we're gonna dingy into Zimmerman, look for some packages. I'm so relieved <laughs> about the propellers. Like I that was. Too. I was really just like, okay, drop eight grand, steer it. All night last night, I was thinking about the props and how frustrated I've been with them, and like, yeah, I don't see any of the way. Then we have to start over. Yeah. That's so expensive. Yeah. So just good news, or just some barnacles. <laughs> Never been so happy about some Right? <laughs> it's cold water though, man. Yeah, 
yeah, our friend Richard said, go ahead and use our mooring. Thank you, Richard. Very kind of you. You can see we're tying on to the shackle directly instead of this big long painter so that we don't bang up the new wrap. It's not so new anymore. Isn't that so cute? What's that? Leslie's going to order all of our coffee for all her friends for Christmas because she oh. has so many friends that love good coffee. That's awesome. I know. I'm just doing the finishing touches on my new and improved screen. I'll say. Which is so much better. Did you say, Nick? This is not your made, or what was it called? <laughs> As seen. As seen on TV. No. Yeah. That worked, but this is way, way better. Yes. The main benefit of the screen is that it closes and there's no gaps where the, the magnets are. It closed. <laughs> this is the last part of our electrical conversion. Got the solar. Get rid of the generator. Now we need some high output alternators. And this is round two. We got some from a company called Max. But the marketing materials and the actual specs didn't match. So we sent that back. One of the changes we'll make as we do this conversion is uh, we're going to switch to serpentine belts. These are grooved belts that don't slip the same way as a, a V-belt does. So hopefully these will make a lot less dust than those V-belts. Ground point zero, I'm practicing my alternate picking. I'm proud of you. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Yeah. My white strat. What are you calling this uh, baby? She, does she have a name? Fancy Pants. Oh.